Hi, my name is Amanda Cawthon. I'm one of the librarians here at Bookerville Public Library, and I'm going to share a few books with you today that I think uh, you and your kids will enjoy and you can check out here from here at the library. So first book I brought is a picture book called Lexi's Mooch. This is a new book that we just received recently. Um, this book is by Shelley Anand and it's illustrated by Nabi H. Ali. And in this book, Laxmi is a little girl and when she's at school, she's embarrassed one day when one of the other students while playing a game of make-believe mentioned that she would make a wonderful cat because of the little hairs above her lip that remind them of whiskers. And she's very embarrassed by this and so she goes home and uh, she talks to her mom about it and her mom gives her so much encouragement and fills her with confidence in who she is and her body. And, you know, in little things like the hairs on your body that sometimes, you know, you might get embarrassed about. And Laxmi, she goes back to her classmates and she, she, she doesn't just enjoy that confidence for herself. She shares it with her classmates and they all um, learn to take pride in who they are and all the different parts um, of them that make them different and unique. So this is a, such a sweet, wonderful book. I think you all will enjoy that. And next, for a little bit older readers, I brought Zapato Power, Freddy Ramos Takes Off. This is by Jacqueline Jules and it's illustrated by Miguel Benitez. And this is a beginner chapter book. So it's got short chapters, um, some illustrations throughout and um, in this book, Freddie is gifted with a pair of purple shoes and he discovers when he wears them, he has super speed. He can run so quickly that people don't even see him. He turns into a puff of smoke, he goes so fast. And in the book, Freddie's one, trying to figure out where he got these mystery shoes. And he's also trying to figure out how he can use these shoes for good and how he can become a superhero when some of his biggest problems that he sees at school are a kid forgetting their lunch. So it's a really awesome book. It's um, a part of a series. So if you enjoy this one, you can check out the rest of the books in that series. For our older readers, I brought all together now. This is a graphic novel by Hope Larson. So it's, um, you can see illustrations throughout. And this book would be great for middle school readers. Um, it is a sequel, so it's a sequel to All Summer Long, but it works great as a standalone. So even if you haven't read the first one, you can read this one and I think you'll still enjoy it. Um, in this book, Bina and her friend Darcy are in a band and they decide they need a drummer. But when that drummer joins, that adds some complications when Darcy and the new drummer Enzo start to form a relationship and um, leads to some troubles for the band. In the meantime, um, Bina's next door neighbor and best friend Austin, their relation also starts to get a little bit more complicated. Um, and in this book, one thing I love about it is that it shows Bina learning to recognize that uh, she may not be ready for everything as soon as opportunities present them to her. So um, she may have an opportunity to um, explore a first relationship, but she learns to evaluate if she's actually ready for that or if she needs to wait and she learns that it's okay to say no to an opportunity when it's not the right time. So this book is a um, really great um, book for middle schoolers. I enjoyed that one a lot. And last up for our teen readers, I brought The Candle and the Flame by Nafisa Azad. Um, this book was one that our Diverse Teen Book Club read a few months ago, and it's such a great read. It's a fantasy, so if you enjoy fantasy, this is a good one. It's in a world filled with uh, jinns, both good and evil. Um, the main character, uh, Fatima, lives in the city of Noor with her sister, and when it starts off, um, she's kind of just this ordinary girl living her life, trying to um, provide uh, for herself and her sister. And then some events happen, I don't wanna spoil things, but some events happen that give her some immense power and change her life. And suddenly she becomes uh, someone that is able to take a very active role in the um, larger picture of events going on in her city. Um, there's a little bit of romance to it. There's a little bit of action. And I think that fantasy readers will love this one. So you can check out all of these books. Again, we've got Candle in the Flame all together now. Zapato Power, Freddy Ramos Takes Off, 
and Laxmi's Mooch. You can put all of these books on reserve at the library and check them out.